hi guys this is ac game we're back with a new video now in today's video i'm going to be going over some guides and tips for the enders truth event this video will be very useful because if you watch this video you will be finding clues on how to get some of the resources and rewards at a lower price so you definitely want to watch this before you start spending any of your coins on any of the rewards and if you're stuck in any of the stage i'll go over some tips as well for that stages so yeah this video should be helpful for everyone and so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video don't forget to like the video subscribe let's get to 2k subscribers and at 3k i will be doing a giveaway where there will be two winners so yeah let's get right into the video okay so the endless truth event is a very unique stage or a unique event this they're bringing out something that has never been done in a game as of yet but so yeah the thing that i did was that all of the prices that you can buy are unlocked on the same day however some of them or all of them can go at a lower price at specific times and i'm going to provide you with the clues of how you can know when each of those resources will go at a lower price so that you can save the amount of coin coins that you need so over here i have put the screenshot up i'm not going to take credit for any of those clues discovered because yeah i wasn't going to be interested in, in the first place because i really don't like the idea of making me work hard for to get resources i'm sorry um so yeah so the first one i could tell you is the selected tickets you should buy them on the first day that would they will be the lowest price on the first day so what i'm going to buy now is selected tickets there we go i bought the normal tickets because i needed to do a recording of me summoning uh i will post the video before i post this one but um yeah there's hopefully you can pause the video and take a look at all the clues i've given you guys the weapon chest the armor chest when to buy them when to buy selena i know the screenshot says astro off but it is selena lowest price for her is when it's times 1000 so 100 sorry really nice but it says 80 percent off currently so maybe it's right now you can buy it but another thing i don't like about this event sorry um you can't fast challenge maybe it's a bug but you can't fast challenge yeah it's really really annoying so i'm just gonna finish this off but i don't like the idea that you can't fast challenge the stages when there is so many you're gonna have so many uh what's it called stamina so not being able to fast challenge is just gonna be a pain um uh, and i think the stage could be hard for most people because she does deal quite a bit of damage but as long as you kill everyone at the same time she won't be able to do her ult many times and um, because that ult could actually kill you so yeah um yeah so i really don't like the fact that you can't fast challenge all of that and get all of your coins you have to do it separately and i also don't like the fact that clues are given from the box that you get now i've already opened all the box i've gotten i've only gotten three clues now imagine if someone wants to get them at a good price but they don't have all the clues or they don't have the information on how to get them at a lower price it literally just made them feel like they wasted effort trying to grind out all the coins needed to buy it so i really don't like the fact that even thankfully we had a community that would put all the clues together and put it in a sentence but imagine that wasn't there we would have been missing out on a great uh great information you know so i really don't like that idea and, and hopefully in the future they didn't do this because um, am i the only one who doesn't like this i'm, I'm sorry I, I just don't like it if you go to quest the only way you can get the only way you can get the clues is by getting this boxes over here so look at how long it's going to take you to get all of this so i really don't like the idea and they should not put that ever again in the, in the in the future content i'm sorry i don't like games doing that i don't want to work specifically hard for getting the really good resources unless it's just some in-game stuff just beat the boss get my resources get the good price and stuff like that um yeah so i was actually meant to make a, a guide i already made a guide before but then with all the new information coming out i had to delete that video and make this instead now i'm going to go into some um, adventure stages and give you some clues on how to beat some of them especially ones that have uh, stage tips but this one enemies cannot be killed every partner after using two ultimate skills will leave the battle so essentially what you want to do is put selena in or your tank right in front of your leader but put a space between your leader and your tank and between that space you put a healer or someone who can tank as well so you want to make this last for a long time you have to go all the way for like two minutes the two minutes how long does it yeah three minutes sorry so you have to tank for three minutes but if you are level 30 50 and above 
this stage should not be hard for you because the damage your leader takes is minimal at best so it's not going to be detrimental if you even take damage with your leader so for this i was actually able to clear this relatively easy um so yeah for stage nine is there any clues ones nope i'm just gonna go over the ones with stage tips uh this one over here if in this stage there will be three real minds for this now with this one if you're struggling to beat this you want to make sure that you make sure you that you deploy your unit and the right block so that you get that advantageous buff which is the enemy boss reduces hp by 35 percent you just really want to just put two units in this and you should be able to clear this i usually just do one unit and it was fine but um yeah you don't want to you don't want to risk it by adding many um, units in the match and getting the bad buffs and the good buff at the same time so yeah if you're finding this hard you want to do this multiple times until you get that advantageous buff really nice easy uh number six stage tips you have 140 energy total in this stage please kill the enemies before you run out of any energy easy put that all your units the good units in first kill ggs now there's one that gives you a wrong stage tip which is the here this is actually wrong you have 95 energy total in a stage if you go out of energy you will fail please hang in till the countdown is over wrong with the 95 energy you want to kill you don't you don't want to hang out till the countdown is over because you will not get the last clearing reward that's what happened to me i had to retake this again so you make sure you go in kill the boss and kill everyone within the 95 energy provided and you should be fine so yep is there any other ones i haven't gone over stage tips you can't you can't really talk about that just want to hang out and because selena is a single damage dealer it should be fine you don't have to worry about aoe's um put miyuki as well so yep if you want to stop people from doing aoe damage and i think that's all the stuff i want to talk about with that future ac game are interjecting over here so the first half of the video i did not know there was collapse stage but thankfully someone in my comment section did tell me that it was there so i managed to beat it and there was new stages where they have new type of events or new type of uh what's it called condition and clearing so i'm gonna go over some of them so that's um obviously this is a guide video so yeah for this one over here there's a new one where it is ursi cannot be killed something terrible will happen if you insist to attack her which the terrible thing that will happen is she will do her unique multiple times so essentially if she does a unit three times she will kill your unit but um you have to attack the hersey to even deal damage to the enemy leader which is um, selena the reason being that ursi literally spawns in front of selena so how i did it was just use an aoe unit kill around i did get the um I did attack the Hertzy so she did her ultimate. So within that three um, three, within the three times I attacked her, well four times I attacked her, she did her ultimate three times which killed one of my unit which is actually really surprising. I thought the ultimate would kill really, really quickly but it didn't. Um, it did, it, that was against my, uh, what's it called? It was against my Vatania so I'm very surprised that did, um, Hertzy didn't kill my Vatania but then I just killed. So you must attack the Hertzy to do damage to the Selena. So, you have to make sure that your units are able to tank the free ultimates and then you should be fine so yeah this is probably going to be a hard one for people to clear but hopefully i am able to uh, make sure that you guys do know that you must attack the hersey or unless you have a way you can ignore the hersey uh character bonus you can use any of these characters for the character bonus i didn't really need any of them but with you guys who might want to use some of them uh what else is there to talk about with the event so yeah that is all the information i want to talk about the endless truth the guides hopefully the guides were useful for you guys i will put the screenshot up again so that you guys can take a screenshot of this you can find it in a community post as well shout out to whoever made this i didn't take out the person's name who made this post because i wanted you guys to know that it wasn't me who made this because trust me i guess i'm not the type of guy who reads stuff in game Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more content on Illusion Connect. It's been your boy AC Gamer and I'm out.